Am I blessing anybody? Yes, sir. Okay, here's the next thing I want you to understand. Get a word for your situation. Yes, sir. Get a word, man. Get a word for your situation. Get a vision for your behavior. Mm. Amen. Come on, somebody. I see every seat in the house overflowing. I said that that somebody that's that, that's hearing my voice for the first time, that's hearing me teach for the first time, every chair in the house is the overflow. There's a seat with your name on. There's a spot that's waiting just for you. See, why? Because that is the vision that God has shown. So we press and we go forward with that vision. Because of what God has shown. Get you a vision for your behavior. And get you a word for your situation. He tells the woman in 14. For thus says the Lord, the God of Israel. But well, what did the Lord say? But well, what did the Lord say now? Because you want me to give you my last piece of bread. And my last little bit of oil. Well, yeah. Tell me what did the Lord say? What well, the Lord said. The jar of flour shall not be spent. And the jug of oil shall not be empty. Until the day the Lord sends rain upon earth. He, he said, the Lord said he's going to keep you. The Lord said he's going to sustain you. Yes, sir. See, there's somebody that God has said, I'm going to give you a million dollar business. And you're going to receive the million dollar business, not because of who you know, not because of your credit, not because of your background, not because of your intellect, but because God said so. Amen. There's some that's going to have the taste of drugs, alcohol, and high-risk situations removed from them, not because you went to the right AA class, not because you hit rock bottom, but because God what? God said so. Amen. See, I want you to understand Having the foundation of God's word, it gives you something to stand on when, when, when it looks like all hell produces in your life. I'm, I'm, I, I, now listen, listen, now watch this, watch this now. When, when God fed the children of Israel with the man, did he give them six months worth of supplies? You know, God said, you know, I'm just going to fill you up and I'll come back and see you in about three more months. Is that what happened? No, he gave them today's necessity today. They had to trust him for tomorrow. Julie. So then they gave them substance for tomorrow. Watch this now. What about Elijah at the brook? Did the ravens come and just fill him up with bread for the month? And then the birds flew away? I don't get that spirit from that. Now watch this. I believe a woman had enough for the next meal. But I ain't sure she had enough for six months at a time. So she had to continue to believe God. What I'm trying to tell you is, watch this now, watch this. What I'm trying to tell you is, in the natural, God allowed a viewpoint that said it might not happen. That's what I'm trying to show you. Is that God will allow. He will allow a picture to frame in your peripheral that says it might not happen. But I want you to know that if you have a foundation of God's word and you remember what God's word said for your situation, you shall make it. Now, look here. Now, you, you won't.